Hello and welcome to the HVAC Diaries. This video is sponsored by Nice Job, an effective way to get reviews for your business. My name is Jessica and I live in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, where I am learning how to be a refrigeration and air conditioning mechanic, technician, contractor, whatever you want to call it. I am a level three apprentice and I'm learning the trade from my dad and my brother at our little family business, Cam Cool Refrigeration. If you come to my vlogs on a weekly basis, I'm so sorry for missing last week's vlog. My dad and I had to go on an emergency service call to a Tim Hortons where their ice machine stopped working for the weekend. And so that took up most of our Saturday. And then Sunday I had to do all of the chores that I missed on Saturday. Plus it was Father's Day and I had my parents over for like a lunch thing. So I had no time to record or edit any vlogs. So thanks for coming back today. I had a funny comment on one of my previous videos about the gauges in the back. They're like, are these, are those just a prop? And you guys, I swear, I use them. <laughs> I, I use them for air conditioning. They're my 410A gauges. Whenever I, I'm finished with them, they go back there because that's the best spot for them. But yeah, they do make a cool prop in my videos, so I don't really care, whatever. <laughs> On Tuesday, one of our clients, he's a pasta maker, manufacturer. I don't know, he makes pasta and sells it, freezes it and sells it to local restaurants and to some of our little independent grocery stores around here and I don't know what they were making the day we were working there but it smelled like freaking heaven it was like I don't know garlic and mushrooms and spinach and ricotta and oh my gosh I'm just like at the end of the day I was like where can I buy this pasta I need to eat it <laughs> anyway he had a walk-in cooler that suddenly stopped working on Tuesday and also it was tripping the breaker and unfortunately, we found the compressor mechanically seized. It was pulling rock, lo it was pulling locked rotor amps immediately. So, unfortunately, we had bad news for him. And even worse, we were called all the suppliers that we knew of. Nobody seemed to have a three-quarter horsepower Copeland compressor or condensing unit for him. So that sucked, giving him the bad news. But then out of nowhere, on Tuesday night, overnight, my dad's like, Hey, didn't we replace a three-quarter horsepower condensing unit at a different place? And we actually left the unit there. We never, ever, ever leave old equipment behind. Sometimes you'll go into rooftops and you'll find an old rusty compressor up on the roof that somebody didn't bother to take down. And I don't know, to me, I, think, I always think that's so lazy. Like, take your trash. An old compressor is trash, get rid of it. Anyway, but this compressor, this condensing unit, we left in the attic space for a very, for a few reasons. I'm not gonna get into it, but anyway, so, so we called the lady up and we're like, hey, can we buy that compressor from you? And she's like, absolutely. A, I'll take the money and B, I want to get rid of this thing that's not doing anything. So my brother and I, we went over there and got the compressor or the condensing unit out of the attic through this tiny little hole on this rickety ladder. Anyway, it was totally fine. We got it done. Thursday, we went back to the pasta place and we replaced the condensing unit. However, you guys, when we were there on Tuesday checking things out, I went inside the cooler and the evaporator coil, so dirty. Look at this. Holy forking shirts, what the heck? goodness so dirty and it just blows my mind that companies that rely so heavily on the refrigeration equipment don't do basic maintenance like all you need is a soft brittle brush and just brush the stuff off the coil in fact when we went to replace the condensing unit my job was to clean the evaporator coil while my dad and my brother were on the roof But 
when we got there on Tuesday, uh, Thursday morning, they had already brushed the coil off. So I'm like, you guys can do this. <laughs> you have the means to do it. Anyway, they brushed off all of the dirt and debris, which honestly was the was the part of the job I was excited about least because brushing all that stuff out, you always, no matter what you're wearing, no matter what safety glasses or you're getting dust and bits in your eyes and in your skin and everything. So that was done for me. That was amazing. I took out the fan blade and the fan motor so that I could wash the coil from the inside out. And you guys, the amount of dirt that came off, oh, it's so satisfying. I love coil cleaning because it's just so satisfying. I don't even care how dirty I get. The coil is so clean when I'm finished. Freaking love it. It's the best. <laughs> at a really interesting job site. We worked on a sailboat at a marina. How cool is that? He's got this tiny little cooler on board, like it's so small. And it's got this tiny, so cute little condensing unit. Trevor, you comfy? <laughs> um, we found the thing without any refrigerant. We did an extensive leak test. We couldn't find anything at all. So we're going to monitor that. And I hope that we have a callback for it because I would really love to go back there and be on that boat. Kidding, not kidding, sort of kidding, not really kidding, whatever. <laughs> Guys, I bought myself a little gift this week. I bought myself some new safety glasses and I freaking love them. I think they're so cute. They're so adorable. I hate despise. I hate wearing my safety glasses. They always seem to be down in my trek and I just don't bother to go and get them. And it's terrible. I know I got to wear them all the time. So these ones I love and I'm I just everywhere I go. I'm like, where's my safety glasses? Where's my safety glasses? So it's totally working. And they've got this nice little side shield. And they're pink! They're pink! I don't even care what you say. I love them. I've been getting a little bit of flack on Instagram because somebody said I look like an old librarian. And I don't care. I'm a safe librarian. Safety first, guys. They're made uh, from a Canadian company. And I'm in love. I'm in love. Summer has finally made its way to my beautiful city. It's gonna be a whopping 32 degrees all over the weekend on Sunday. And I am here for it. I am here for it. I love summertime. I, w I was a summer baby. I was born in November in South Africa in the Southern Hemisphere. So I love summertime. Bring it on. <laughs> 